Hello there, my name is Richo. I usually do cartoon reviews or anime reviews or something completely random and take a do Batman Ninja. Well, this movie is basically everything I like about Batman and Ninjas in the same time. So yes, I want you to take my money now. So awesome. The whole story of Batman Ninja is basically is Batman trying to stop Gorilla Grodd using his machine or understand what's going on in Arkham Asylum. But the last few seconds before he actually stopped Gorilla Grodd, everything went wrong and the machines turned on. So they basically find out what the machine does, especially time travel. He travels back to Japan by accident. After that, Batman trying to figure out, okay, I'm in Japan, now where all the people are trying to stop. I mean, the whole movie is that, but it's so interesting how they use Batman in this kind of area, that Japan, that he doesn't have his technology. In fact, he uses all his written technology on the first couple of minutes and lose them all. So the question is, how to stop all this villain while he gets it? One of the morals of Batman of this movie, he didn't know what to do next, but later on, he finds out he has all his allies with them and figure out where they were and help him stop the Joker and all his rogue villains. So it's a simple story, but it's so interesting how they put Batman in that sort of situation. So he finds out that actually it's a ninja clan waiting for him. I think the, the people like Robin, Red Hood, or Damien, all those characters were actually training this, but no, they were trained before Batman or his team actually come out in Japan. It's a legend that Batman should come back and stop this evil lore of Joker. So that's the question, where the legend began and why? They never explain why, it's because it's a legend and that some of you really heard of dozens of times of different movies about the legend but the question is how Batman's legend starts in Japan it never explained in detail it's just a story I wonder if they should explore more on this movie but other than that it was incredible now that's basically the whole story but the interesting part is all the little things they did to all the villains and heroes you can see how they're setting fit them perfectly about the clothes they use. The look of this setting is impressive. I like to see how Dane looks like this huge sumo wrestler. You like to how the Joker is kind of like this Damio with all his costumes. It's just impressive to see how much creativity this show really has. On top of that, the animation. Oh my god. The animation is like eye candy this one. Because they have five different animations hitting each other back and forth. Each animation has a purpose how to tell the story better. The first time you see it is CGI, but later on it's kind of like a Shiba basically backgrounds of 2D animation. Yeah. After that, they use kind of the Samurai Jack art style, going like a backstory. In the end, they use just normal pencil that they combine all this animation together. But they're just four. I think they're five or six different animation styles doing this movie because it's just mind blowing how each art compels to tell this story. Now, let's start the bad things. So, I think one of the bad things is what they do too. Damien doesn't act like Damien, it's kind of weird, but it's very little. Out of that, I think there's only a bad thing about this. I could try and maybe the dubbing kind of off once in a while. But something that it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's because how I stream my movies. The internet kind of delayed it or how it is. That's the only thing I can complain about this movie. All of that, one more bad thing. It's one thing that I heard someone said. Half of the movie, you got kind of bored. And I can see why. It's because the mix. The mix are just unrandom there. If they created this mix to fight not just one, but multiple. And that's the only thing I, I feel people could be kind of bored with. If you see this, it's up to you because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the mech fight. I enjoyed all these crazy things going on because let's face it, this is Batman. It's a rich guy with a costume fight villain. You can't believe mechs belong to this era or with a Batman. Don't understand how comic books work. So yeah, the show, it fits everything what they do. Especially how the legend describes Batman. It's just so interesting. The fact that Batman down himself this movie. I mean, you rarely see Batman down himself. Is this one's one of those like, yeah, I'm out of my territory. Yeah, I enjoy that. Anything else. Nothing really bad that's just the two three nip and the whole story is amazing characters are amazing everything just clicks it's just that one little mick thing but other than that i recommend highly to watch it you have to give this rating about nine out of ten i mean it's so interesting and fascinating i have to recommend it i got nothing else to say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day bye